umbilical cord blood is the remaining blood that is present in the placenta and umbilical cord after a newborn baby is born and traditionally this is discarded after a newborn baby is born and this uh, umbilical cord blood consists of a potential cells which are known as hematopoietic stem cells and these hematopoietic stem cells could be used for treating various disease and disorders typically blood cancers genetic disease and autoimmune disorders umbilical cord blood is typically processed using manual and automation technologies we at novocord process our stem cells using automation technologies which is typically known as axp axp is a microprocessor based technology through which we could achieve more than 95% hematopoietic stem cell recovery so when the stem cell sample comes to our facility we ensure that the sample meets our acceptance criteria and after meeting the criteria we give them an isbt barcoding and after that we transfer the sample into our cgmp processing facility for processing Typically, cord blood is processed by manual and automation technologies. We at Novacort process samples using our own patented automation technologies, which is AXP. AXP platform is a microprocessor-based technology. This could achieve more than 95% of hematopoietic stem cell recoveries. After processing the sample, we send a small aliquot for testing of cellularity and viability stem cells are preserved at minus 190 degrees centigrade in liquid nitrogen divars and these samples could be preserved for multiple years and as of now we preserve umbilical cord blood for 21 years Umbilical cord blood stem cells are not only used for the same baby but it could also be used for treating siblings, relatives, family members or any other individuals who minimally meet 4 out of 6 match. This is one time opportunity for expecting parents to preserve their baby stem cells in protecting against life threatening disease and disorders. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comments box below and the experts will get back to you.